wanted to come on here real quick. I have a few orders that I'm fulfilling, so I just figured that I would show you guys when you order from us. These are Dubia. So this is somebody ordering a hundred small. And so we put them in this nice little deli small cup container, and this is how it will arrive to you. And we put them in there. If we're shipping them to you, we will also put some of our, let me show you that <clears throat> over here, our mighty Dubia Chow in there at the bottom. You can also buy this from us. We make this homemade, all organic ingredients, excellent for getting your Dubia ready to feed, gut loaded to your different animals. And so this right here is a hundred Dubia roaches. They are small. And so I'm just gonna show you kind of the sizes that we sell. Just real quick, just thought I'd come on because I'm fulfilling some orders. So here we are. These are the sizes if you order small from us. You can go to our website if you're interested in mightydubiafeeders.com. So these are our hundred, aren't they cute? Isn't that weird that I like Dubia roaches now? It's just so strange. <laughs> I have like a love-hate relationship with roaches. I'm like, I like them and they're cute to me now. And then I go and feed them to tater tot. And so that is just kind of a weird dynamic, isn't it? Okay, so these are the hundred and these are the small sizes and they are shipped to you in a small deli container, okay? And that just says that we go to great lengths to care for our Dubia, they're fed high quality foods, greens, vegetables, all that good stuff. If you need to know how to feed these guys once they come to you, uh, there is, if you go under the Dubia Roach Colony playlist, we have information videos on there on how to feed these guys and take care of them and sort them and all that good stuff. And then over here, I have an order for 200 um, mediums. So they'll come in a little bit larger of a deli cup. And so let me just kind of, without making them all come out, here's the size. So of course they're a lot bigger and these are mediums. Actually, let me just try the best I can. There you go. So these are mediums. And that's how they come over to you guys, okay? If you order from us any. That way you know what you're getting and what to expect. All right, so I'm going to put those over there. Hopefully I don't have any great escape artists. And I just wanted to show you before I take off here. They also come, of course, with the lid on them for ventilation. And they're also going to have some ventilation on the sides of the cups. So they'll be packaged nice and good and that they'll be also in there with some food a little bit before they leave so they will not be hungry by the time they get to you. They'll be good. So I wanted to come show you over here. Um, this is our discoid. So let me get that out of here. And we'll go ahead and show you that. Give me one second. It's kind of hard to do this, get this, and then do... Uh, a phone in my other hand but I can figure it out so this is our discoid we have not been selling these yet we're just growing them out but I thought I would just show you a sneak peek because every now and then I show you guys this and so let's just take a look at these guys and see what's going on in there they are so much bigger Look how big these guys are. They're huge compared to um, compared to the Dubia, in my opinion. They're just so much bigger. So these are nymphs, actually, guys. These are the nymphs. And the adults have wings. So all of these that you're seeing are not adults. They are nymphs. They look like they're probably like one or two instars from becoming adults. And I just think they're really, they're unique looking, they're very different looking than the Dubia. They have that checkered pattern. When they're smaller nymphs, I just think they're really pretty because of, of that little look on them. Of, it looks like kind of like checkers. So, here we go. So we got some 
females that I see. These are some females. And then a male right there. The males are smaller. Um, it's kind of hard to tell unless they're like, well, well, here, for example, is a big female. And then there's a male right behind her. Do you see how the difference in the size slightly? Um, so that, let's see if I can find any babies because they've been mating and have been very successful thus far. They are enjoying Houston weather and it's nice and hot and humid. And so they really like it here. And they seem to have, I saw a lot of babies in here when, last time I looked, but maybe they've grown a little bit. but they're just really unique looking. Um, there is a big difference in personality. If you ask me and Gio, we always talk about this. Like the Dubia, I find them much more, oh, there's a little smaller one. Um, the Dubia are much more shy and these are much more inquisitive, um, friendly almost <laughs> like they come up to you and they're like what are you doing they're just checking you out they're not intimidated or scared of you they're definitely not for people who um have trouble <laughs> with bigger roaches they're much bigger and um they're not shy at all not shy at all so all right guys i just wanted to give you a little look at what our discoy colony is up to and <laughs> They are doing well. Y'all have a blessed weekend, okay? Bye-bye.